COSM, still following our implied path. Now, with this bearish price action, what can happen? Are we near recovery? Are we still going to capitulate? What exactly is going on with COSM? Well, let's go ahead and find out within this video. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a Cosm, Cosmos Holdings, uh, raw price action and technicals, threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arcab. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. Okay, so we are looking at COSM today on the four hour chart, and we're gonna start off, we're gonna start our short term time frame analysis with the uh, uh, Cryptex indicators, the ARC series. So these indicators are now live. Please send me a DM if you are uh, interested in acquiring these. I'll make sure to give you the details as to how to do that. Okay, so the DBSI indicator actually gives us a bull versus bear strength. So in this case, whenever we are below the 13-day moving average, uh, particular to the DBSI, the bears are in strength. Now, the measurements that you're getting here is DBSI... Uh, algorithmically measuring every single candle uh, in, in relative strength to the bears versus the bulls, giving us a cumulative total here. So as you can see, the bears are still winning uh, the bulls with a 53 uh, score versus a 47. And we are also beneath the 13-day moving average. It is an exponential moving average, uh, which usually means that exponential moves closer along to price action versus the simple moving averages, okay? So in this case, we are still in a bear outlook this last candle that printed here on the four hour still looks pr to be pretty bearish and suggesting a continuation to the way down as per our analysis for the last few days okay so in the in this case now let's just see what uh what is happening here because we do have we do have a couple things to look out for when we're looking at a dbsi so usually when we get uh when we get a, a type of a type of red bar like this uh, or a red little circle that usually means that usually means to to you know sell it's, it's a short signal per, uh, per se uh there are times to where we get the blue the little blue circle like this giving us a buy signal as well so th this isn't everything to trust it's just a suggestion the other indicators within the uh crypt six or arc series are uh a little a little more manageable in long and short signals so this is definitely a relative strength versus uh, bulls versus uh, bears right so if we want to get a closer detail into understanding where price action could go we could load an instance of arc armor let's go ahead and take dbsi for now uh out and see what we have okay so the arc armor is ex is uh, comprised of several exponent exponential moving averages all paired really closely to each other so that in price action we can gauge a wave of motion in that wave of motion armor can then give us a buy and sell signal if you will so we have a, a long signal here massive thrust uh rejection here we got a short signal here it went down all the way down here okay so now in the recovery it does have to to wait for confirmation we did get a long signal here and now the most important part is this i am looking at here a short signal it did not recover a long signal to get to this area as you can see the price action still continuing to the downside so and this is a larger time frame as well of which i am forward testing these indicators uh the back test on them is already pretty good and they're usually used in the one hour uh in the one hour time frame so you can see here that you you're getting more of a micro uh, a perspective if you want a shorter time frame trade which this is actually made for so 30 minute time frame you're looking at a long signal here it goes up it gives you a short signal here still going down and as you can see again the short signal still has not recovered with a long from the, uh from the bottom side so there is still absolutely some downside to look for in cosm uh and it's in accordance to what I was talking about within this formation of this fall of this next chart here. So yesterday I did mention that we could potentially be building what could be called an Adam and Eve bearish pr uh, formation here, which usually requires a failure of the trend line and then a retracement back to uh, test the newly converted support into now resistance before catching a liquidity trap or before making a liquidity trap here for people who think that we are definitely going up and then starts the capitulation phase. So this was a warning that I put out to my bulls yesterday.
and it since has happened in that manner. Now, taking the price objective from an Adam and Eve or a head and shoulders pattern in this case is suggesting a very curious target. It is suggesting at about 19 cents, which is confluent with our one spot 618 uh, Fibonacci ratio, the inverse ratio at 20 cents, 2056. So there is the potential to still continue on to the downside. We do have the one spot 272 at 29 cents of uh, for support. Can't say that that's actually going to uh, hold the weight of this massive sell pressure. Okay, so alongside the one spot 272, we do have the 100 day moving average, which could. Uh, I mean, it could uh, help us uh, find a little bit of a bounce similar to this here. This this can a lot of people, a lot of a lot of fundamental analysts actually would uh, refer to this as a as a short attack. But it is in a sense, it is in a sense technical and it is following the, the rules of the playbook. And now more so than th that sentiment to the upside has kind of. Uh, diminished a bit for COSM. It is starting to play more by the tech, by the playbook rules. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart and see what we have. So yeah, th this is the broadening descending wedge that we've looked that we've looked at for quite some time now, and this broadening descending wedge does present a bullish outlook overall. However, we are in the daily chart here, so this can take time for it to realize. Okay, to the upside. Um, in this case, we actually caught a gap. That that was located between the wick high of this candle here and the wick low of this candle here so this gap as you can see is now working yet again as a form of support so this is uh, if, if you're a regular viewer of my channel I do mention often that I leave uh, some of these gaps uh, you know pertinent gaps pretty substantial gaps I leave them in so that uh, for future play and uh, this is just another forward test that goes into the books into letting us know that the relevance of previous gap areas are absolutely uh, are absolutely for play okay now the one thing that I did mention I'm trying to catch everyone up here so this is why I'm uh, reiterating so many things so usually these uh, broadening descending wedges follow the golden rule of three which requires three tests of the resistance followed by a capitulation event uh, re accumulation down here and a move to the upside reaccumulation would be particular to a Wyckoff theory uh, bounce this would be this would be uh, let me go ahead and zoom in this would be what Wyckoff theory would call a terminal shakeout so we definitely get we definitely get that wick down and a quick recovery to the upside after an accumulation period particularly after a downtrend and then the upside thrust now on test number four that would signal our true breakout out of the golden rule of three now I did tell everybody that we have not returned you know, when we were up here, I did tell everyone that we have not returned to test our newly converted resistance into now support. There was that risk of coming back down to actually do that. So we have since done that. <laughs> we have since uh, we have since started that. Sorry. And and uh, could be facing that downside as well that, you know, partic particularly to the to the conversion of this test do know that we do have the uh 100 day moving average here that can present a small bounce which can likely happen and then we can bounce either to the bottom uh to the bottom area of the gap fill uh to use as resistance before coming back down and using the 50 day simple moving average as a bounce okay and then we would start verifying uh, or confirming this this uh, newly converted resistance into support the bullish outlook from this from this formation is usually found or the price objective is usually found at the genesis of the formation itself in this case it is suggesting a top side of two dollars and 87 cents which is actually a target that i've heard uh other analysts uh talk about i'm talking fundamental analysts other other technical analysts so i am seeing a two i mean they, they would uh usually call it about 290 right but in my case i am seeing the 287 target as a relevant area of take profit for the this formation itself and uh yeah it looks like it could actually be making that playbook uh, or that play per the playbook okay so let's go ahead and move on to the last chart here and take a look at our rsi analysis now let me just open up the larger plane the larger pane in the 12 hour time frame where i think it was actually the yeah it's actually the 12 hour uh that we've been looking at so we did notice yesterday 
uh, particularly yesterday, we did catch three drives of hidden bearish divergence, which are which are usually the the opposition of price action versus momentum, uh, making you know price action in particular making a series of uh, lower highs in price action, and the RSI signal making a series of higher highs. So this is exactly what we got here. So these are three drives of of hidden bearish divergence. Uh, now, upon the closure of the next 12-hour candle, if if we do get a type of upside, and then we would just uh, start printing uh, a drive of hidden bullish divergence. Uh, I'm sorry, it, it, no, it would be regular bullish divergence, you know. So if it comes all the way to, say, for example, here, you know, if we do something like this, I want to just uh, show you here. If we do something like this here, uh, this this pivot here would then be uh, a drive of hidden bullish divergence or re actually regular divergence. So then we can take uh, a trend line from this area to this area when it's making uh, the, the, the low actually like this. So it's the opposition, right? We need price action from this peak to come down and we need RSI to go up from the underside or, or from, from here maybe. But we'll go ahead and verify that uh, when it does happen. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and open up a multi pane to see just what we're looking at for tomorrow's session. We'll look at the immediate short term time frame first, which would be the 30 minute RSI. Okay, so let's get rid of our trend line here and uh, just take a look at what's happening. Okay, so for the new viewers, I do have the RSI properties uh, here. And these four zones are the four zones that I want you to, uh, to focus on because they're located right over here. So it's just blown up for your convenience. Okay, so the 30 minute time frame is suggesting a continuation to the downside alongside the moving average represented by this pink line. RSI signal is the purple line. Okay, now when we're in these shallow areas, usually we're we're presented the opportunity to recover and come right back up but as you can see here we're in the shallow area we recovered we're in the shallow we're in the deep areas of the of the bear strength percentile we came right back down now we're again in the shallow areas of the oversold percentile so we can be looking at some immediate short term um sideways trading here so now the Let's take a look at the buy hourly. Okay, so the buy hourly is definitely something we have to keep an eye out for. This is well within the the, the grips of the bear strength percentile and suggestion and suggesting a continuation to the way down. And the moving average is about to cross into that bear strength percentile as well. Definitely looking for some more downside. However, the pivot is slowing down just a little bit, which means that our downside could be limited from this point on. Now, the six hour RSI is also doing that slow down pivot as you can see right over here right at the line of uh, right at the junction uh between the bear strength and bear weakness um now this this now that it's pivoting here in the shallow areas of the bear strength percentile is a very good thing which means that our that we can likely face some more downside still maintain the um still maintain the shallow areas i'm sorry yeah the yeah the shallow areas of the bear strength percentile and recover into um into bear weakness so there is there is that potential we're still getting a downside suggestion from the moving average and on the rsi as well okay so here's for sure our confirmation this is the daily uh, RSI since we already saw the 12 hour and it is suggesting an aggressive continuation to the downside. As you can see, the moving average now is starting to make its curvature to the downside as well. So we definitely have to give this some credit, which is absolutely in accordance of what I'm saying within, first of all, the DBSI indicator from Cryptex and also the ARC armor. OK, now we can actually pull up one more just for verification. Let's pull up the ARC Enhanced MACD and yep. So we still have a bear signal flash. We are beyond the mean and it's still continuing on the way down. So the, the sell signals on the indicators are absolutely uh, on, uh, absolutely in accordance. And uh, and yeah, so this is also suggesting that continuation to the way down as per the indicator suggestions as well. OK, so price action, momentum and and uh indicators are suggesting downside we're likely to face some downside we let's let's just you know out of curiosity let's look at the buy daily 
And okay, buy daily is absolutely suggesting a downside continuation, which is also in accordance with the six hour and the slowing of the, uh, I'm sorry, with the slowing of the buy hourly and the six hour. Uh, if we were to adjust our view into the eight hour, we can see a kink as well. Uh, so in this particular area, you can see that we are absolutely uh, aggressively selling here. And in this area, or see the pivot here compared to this pivot, it's not as strong. So, and as we're reaching the deeper areas of the bear weakness percentile, yes, it is suggesting a continuation onto the way down, but we do have to notice how prominent the, the pivots are versus each other. So there could be a loss of, there, there could be a slowing down of sell pressure here. Um, so on the, on the particular to the two day chart, we could continue to the way down here and find support from our moving average, thus continuing on to the upside. OK, so I think this is a pretty good place for me to leave off the video. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on Discord or Twitter. I'll make sure to leave the links in the description below uh, for you to consider joining the RCAP trading community. But with that said, uh, I wish you well. I wish you a very good night and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.